Hi lovers, this is Lover Boy Ramil and I'm here at the uh, White Tribe Experience Center in uh, Diliman Com Commercial Center in uh, Diliman, Quezon City and this radio blog, I'm going to share this to you, is about the uh, canonization of uh, Pedro Calungsod and based on Wikipedia and for those who didn't know Pedro Calungsod Saint Pedro Calungsod also known as Pedro Calunsor, which was born in 1654 and died April the 2nd, 1672, was a young Roman Catholic Filipino saint, migrant sacristan, and missionary catechist who, along with Blessed Diego Luis San de San Vitore, suffered religious prosecution and martyrdom in Guam for their missionary work in 1672. While in Guam, Kalungsod preached Christianity to the Camoro people through catechism while, while baptizing both infants, children, and adults at the risk and expense of being persecuted and eventually murdered. Through Kalungsod and San Vitores' missionary efforts, many native Camoros converted to Roman Catholicism. Kalungsod was formally beatified on March 5, year 2000 by blessed Pope John Paul II and Kalungsod was officially canonized by Pope Benedict XVI at St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City, Rome, Italy on the 21st of October 2012 which is today. So on October 21st 2012 exactly 4 p.m. Pope Benedict XVI will be canonized the uh, Blessed Pedro Calungsod, and through his early years and missionary work, Calungsod was born circa 1654. Historical records never mentioned his exact place of origin and merely identified him as Pedro Calungsod El Bisayo. Historical research identifies him Hinatila ni Cebu, Hinunganan, and Hinundayan in Southern Leyte and Molo District in, Ilo in Iloilo as probable places of origin. Lobok in Bohol also makes a claim. These locations were parts of the Diocese of Cebu during the time of Kalungsod's martyrdom. Few details of his early life prior to, the, to missionary work and death are known. It is probable that he received basic education at a Jesuit boarding school, mastering the catechism and learning to communicate in Spanish. He likely honored his skills in drawing, painting, singing, acting, and carpentry as these were necessary in missionary work. Kalungsod would have been expected to have some aptitude in serving the Tridentine Mass, which is now known as the extraordinary form of the Roman Rite. Kalungsod, then around 14, was among the ex uh, exemplary young catechists chosen to accompany the Jesuits in their mission to the Landrones, Landrones Islands, or in Spanish, Islas de los Landrones, or the Isles of Thieves. In 1668, Kalungsod traveled in Spa with Spanish Jesuit missionaries to these islands, renamed the Mariana Islands. The year before, in honor of, the, of both the Blessed Virgin Mary and the Queen Regent of Spain, Maria Anna of Austria, who funded their voyage. Kalungsod and San Vitores went to Guam to catechize the native Camoros. Missionary life was difficult and provisions did not arrive regularly. The jungles and terrain was difficult to traverse and the islands were frequently devastated by typhoons. Despite all of these, the mission preserved and was able to convert a significant, significant number of locals. And in martyrdom, a Chinese named Choco, a criminal from Manila who was exiled in Guam, began spreading rumors that the baptismal water used by missionaries was poisonous. As some sickly Camoro infants who were baptized eventually died, many believed that story and held the missionaries responsible. Choco was really supported the Makanhas or medicine men and 
the Uriatos or Uritaos, young males who despised their mis the missionaries. In their search for a runway companion named Esteban, Kalungsod and San Vitores came to the village of Tumon, Guam on the 2nd of April, 1672. They were learned that the wife of the village chief, Matapang, gave birth to a daughter and they immediately went to baptize the child. Influenced by calumnies of Choco, the chief strongly opposed to give Matapang some time to calm down, the missionaries gathered the children and some adults of the village and nearby shore and started chanting with the tenets of the Catholic religion. They invited Matapang to join them, but he shouted back that he was angry with God and was fed up with Christian teachings. Determined to kill the missionaries, Matapang went away and tried to enlist another villager named Hirao, who was not a Christian. Hirao initially refused, mindful of the missionaries' kindness towards the natives, but when Matapang branded him a coward, he became like and capitulated. He capitulated. Meanwhile, during the brief absence of Matapong from his hut, San Vitores and Kalungso had baptized the baby, baby girl with the consent of her Christian mother. When Matapong learned of this daughter's baptism, he became even more furious. He violently hurled spears first at Pedro, who was, about, who was able to dodge the spears. Witnesses claimed that Kalungso could have cat, escaped the attack, but he but did not want to leave San Vitores alone. Who, those who knew Kalungsod personally, meanwhile, believed that he could have defeated the aggressors with weapons. San Vitores, however, banned his companions to carry arms. Kalungsod was hit in the chest by a spear and fell and he fell into the ground. Then Hiro immediately charges towards him and finish him off with a machete blow to the head. San Vitores absolved Kalungsod before he too was killed. Matapang took San Vitores crucifix and pounded it with some stone list blaspheming God. Both assassins then the did not denuded the corpses of Kalungsod and San Vitores tied large stones in their feet, brought them out to the sea of their prose, and threw them into the water. The Catholic Church considers Kalungsod's martyrdom as committed in, in odium fidei, or in English, in hatred of the faith, referring to the religious prosecution endured by the person in evangelization. And in uh, beatification, a month after the martyrdom of San Vitores in Kalungsod, a process of beatification was initiated by, but only for San Vitores. Political and religious turmoil, however, delayed and halted the process. When Hagatna was preparing for his 20th anniversary as a Dyson in 1981, in 1673, a beatification cause of Padre Diego Luis de San Vitores was rediscovered the old manuscripts and revived until San Vitores was finally beatified on October 6, 1985. This gave recognition to Kalungsod, paving the way for his own beatification. In 1980, the Cebu Archbishop Ricardo Cardinal Vidal asked permission from the Vatican to initiate the beatification and canonization cause of Pedro Kalungsod. In March 1997, the sacred Congregation of the Causes of Saints approved the acta of the diocese and the beatification process. That same year, Cardinal Vidal appointed Father Ildebrando Leison as vice postulator uh, for the cause, tasked with compiling a positio super martirio or position regarding to the martyrdom to be scrutinized by the congregation. The positio, which relieved heavily on the documentation of San Vitore's beatification, was completed in 1999.
Pope, Blessed Pope John Paul II wanting to include young Asian lay persons in his first beatification for the Jubilee year 2000 paid particular attention to the cause of Kalungsod. In January 2000, he approved the decree Super Martirio or concerning the martyrdom of, Kali, of Kalungsod setting his beatification for March 5, 2000 at St. Peter's Square in Rome. Regardless of regarding Kalungsod charitable works and virtu virtuous deeds, Pope John Paul II declared for his childhood Pedro Kalungsod declared itself unwaveringly for Christ and responded generously to his call. Young people today can draw encouragement and strength for example of Pedro whose love of Jesus inspired him to devote his teenage years of teaching the faith as a lay catechist. Leaving family and friends behind, Pedro willingly accepted the challenge put him by Father Diego de San Vitores to join him on a mission to the Camoros. In, in a spirit of faith marked by strong Eucharistic and Marian devotion, Pedro undertook the demanding work asked of him and bravely faced the many obstacles and difficulties he met. In the face of imminent danger, Pedro would not forsake Father Diego, but as a good soldier of Christ, preferred to die at, at the missionary site. Shortly before his scheduled canonization, a triduum of masses in honor of Kalungsod were celebrated in the Basilica of St. Augustine Church of the Hesu at the Papal Basilica of St. Mary, Ma Mary Major from October 18 to 20. Archbishop Emeritus of Manila, Cardinal Gaudencio Rosales, presided over the Holy Mass on the last day. In addition, a wooden image of Kalungsod approved by and of flown in form of the Archdiocese of Cebu was displayed for public veneration and his sainthood on on the 19th of December 2011 the Holy See officially approved the miracle qualifying Kalungsod for sainthood by the Roman Catholic Church the recognized miracle days from March 16 2003 when a later woman was pronounced clinically dead by accredited physicians took two hours after a heart attack was revived when a doctor prayed for Kalungsod's intercession. Cardinal Angelo Amato presided over the declaration ceremony on behalf of the Congregation for the Causes of Saints. He later revealed that Pope Benedict XVI approved and signed the official promulgation decrees recognizing the miracles as authentic and worthy of belief. The College of Cardinals were sent a dossier on the new saints and they were asked to indicate their approval. On 18th of February 2012, after the consistory of, for the creation of Cardinals, Cardinal Amato formally petitioned Pope Benedict XVI to announce the canonization of the new saints. The Pope set the date for the canonization on October 21st, 2012, which is today is World Mission Sunday, 340 years after Kalungsod's death. Sorry. On uh, the 21st, October 2012, which is today, Pope Benedict XVI canonized Kalungsod after San Lorenzo Ruiz. Kalungsod is the second Filipino and declared a saint by the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Martyrology celebrates Kalungsod's peace along with Blessed Diego San Luis de San Vitores every April the 2nd. Wow! Can't believe that the story of story of life and death of Kalungsod is very touching on uh, Wikipedia, but I read it. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this story of uh, Pedro Kalungsod, as I mentioned on Wikipedia, please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And that is it. On uh, well, I gotta say this once again on uh, on 4 p.m. Pope Benedict XVI will be canonized into a new or should I say the second Filipino saint which is
Saint Pedro Calungso. This is Lover Boy Ramil saying goodbye. God bless you as always. Let love be your guiding light. Goodbye, lovers.